Thursday. It all comes down to this. Are you guys ready? Eight elite robots. The most deadly tournament lineup imaginable. One golden bolt. Oh! Time to kick some butt. It's championship robot fighting time! New BattleBots Champions, Thursday at 8 on Discovery. So I wanted to do a little something a little bit different with the final episode of BattleBots Champions trailer analysis. Uh, I'm going to be doing a live commentary rather than just putting text up on the screen explaining what it is. Uh, there's a lot of spoilers in this, so please, if you want to go into the tournament blind, uh, do not watch this video. Come back afterwards and see how many uh, predictions I was right on. But here we go. Alright, so, yeah, so, the beginning stuff is just people walking out of the, out of the tunnel. Uh, you know, we got Tombstone, we got Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor, you can see, is what, running the single disc, rather than the double disc. But also, uh, these little gloves are actually covering up the forks, which they are breaking out for the first time, uh, in the history of ever. It, with this iteration of Witch Doctor, which started in, like, Season 3. So, yeah, Witch Doctor finally has forks. It's given in, and the forks are pretty small, as you'll see later, so hopefully it doesn't mess up their driving too much. But, um, Hypershock, you know, looking as threatening as ever. And then Tombstone is running the solid blade with the red tips on it. Um, this shot of Diana is actually not from any other uh, fight in the 2021 season. So uh, my prediction is this is coming from a JD where they beat Hypershock. Maybe it's even later in the tournament, but they probably won't be showing anything from later than that. So Scorpios wins the first their first match on decision. Um, and now it's showing us the four matchups. Ribot versus Endgame. Uh, Hypershock versus Scorpios, Witch Doctor versus Glitch, and Tombstone versus Tantrum. Here, uh, there are two hits from Tantrum versus Tombstone that are shown in this trailer. The first one is on the right side of the BattleBots logo, and the second one is on the left side. And in both of them, um, I can't go frame by frame in Windows Media Player, but you can see a piece of shrapnel fly off. Um, I'll show it in slow motion, but here you can see a piece of red shrapnel fly off of Tombstone's weapon, um, and here you can see another piece of shr uh, red shrapnel fly off of Tombstone's weapon. Then you have a couple hits, one from Scorpios and the other from Witch Doctor. So Scorpios uh, is getting hit at least once by Hypershock. They're not showing much of that fight, but as we can see here, Hypershock is running the forks. Uh, Scorpios is running its usual, you know, regular plow with the saw. Not anything unsurprising there, but this is also, check out the clock, 2.57. This is right from the beginning of the fight. So it's also very possible that this is the only hit that Hypershock gets in the, old, in the entire fight which means that Scorpios can control the rest of the fight, leading to that um, judge's decision that Scorpios ultimately wins. So the clock is the most important thing in this particular shot. Uh, Glitch versus Witch Doctor. You can see here the forks are really small. They're also the same color as the Battle Box floor, but it's only a couple inches long, and Glitch is already up on the screws. It's probably going to go pretty similarly to how a lot of people predicted that first round fight to go, even when Witch Doctor was technically the lower seed. So, and this is um, definitely a different hit just because of where they are on the Battle Box floor. Um, there's also a second shot with there's also this shot of Kenny Florian up really close, which is kind of weird. Uh, Chris Rose isn't in the shot at all, and this might be from the award ceremony where they're actually giving it out, which is why it's not zoomed out, because maybe there's something in the background that would give something away, but who knows. Uh, then, 
There's also two separate hits in Endgame versus Ribot. Right now they're below the Battle Box logo. Um, and this is where Ribot's sh plastic shell comes off. So this is a separate shot. As you can see, they're to the left of the BattleBots logo, and here, Ribot's weapon belt comes off, meaning that they've got nothing left in this fight. So, that, that weapon belt is gone. Uh, this is also a separate hit, because they're on the spike strip rather than the screws, and Glitch is... Um, they're on the blue square right now. Where was it before... Okay, so here they're a little to the right of the blue square, and here they're directly on the blue square. And that's that one-two punch, that follow-up that um, Matt Vasquez was talking about, and that makes Witch Doctors driving so dangerous. Once they see an opening, it's all over from there. They, domi they really dominate a fight right after taking any opening. Um, oh, this is a third hit, actually. A glitch getting hit in the back corner, most likely because they uh, can't drive. So it's pretty safe to say that after those three hits, at least, Witch Doctor is going to be is the favorite to win this first round fight. And with that, I think all of the first round fights are basically decided. It's going to be Tantrum Endgame, um, Witch Doctor, and Scorpios, meaning that there's another, I believe that's a Witch Doctor, Scorpios rematch happening let me check there's some really interesting matches going on there a lot of these bots have fought each other before T uh tombstone beat tantrum and i think 2018 uh witch doctor was supposed to fight glitch in the main tournament i don't think scorpios and hypershock have ever fought uh ribot beat endgame back in 2018 i think so yeah that's that'd be witch doctor versus scorpios in the second round and Tantrum versus Endgame in the second round. Tantrum versus Endgame is probably going to be the most interesting um, rematch. It might, I'm not sure who's going to be driving the bot, Dylan Carey or Aaron Hill. It'll probably be Dylan Carey, um, because Aaron Hill is the driver for Blip, officially. And we'll see if he can pull it off versus Endgame, though I think that... Gosh, Endgame's beaten pretty much everyone in this bracket. Because I think they've beaten Scorpios, Witch Doctor... Wait, have they beaten Scorpios? I can't remember. Um, but I know they've beaten Hypershock, Witch Doctor, Tombstone, Tantrum, and they're definitely beating Ribot in this uh, bracket. So that's kind of insane. That <laughs> Endgame's just that powerful. Um, I'm also doing uh, an analysis of who has the best shot of winning the next year's tournament and so far endgame is in the lead with 11 of the top tournament threats already beaten and they could increase that number if they win this tournament it'll probably be end up being witch doctor versus endgame in the finals um i don't see scorpios winning that rematch gosh it's really hard to call witch doctor versus endgame because on one hand the little forks might give witch doctor the bump it needs to win that, even though they were dominated pretty hard by Endgame in their fight, if I remember correctly. Um, otherwise, there's not much else left that's too interesting in this. Yeah, there's the shot of Tantrum blowing apart Tombstone's weapon. Too bad that the weapon shatters. Um, but yeah, uh, that's the end of the trailer. I, I, I'm still hung up on that shot of the hands in the uh, Battle Bot Sin City Slugfest trailer uh, everyone freaked out about because there was like one black guy in it and there are currently zero black people in the champion's bracket. I mean, go check for yourself. Uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, there was someone with really dark skin and unfortunately that's kind of just the state of engineering in general. Um, African Americans tend to be really underrepresented. It's a, it's a really interesting uh, topic if you look into it, and it's something that I definitely see at my school, the sort of disparities between um, different demographic groups of students, even uh, just between different majors and concentrations. So I'm really interested to see where that shot actually came from. <laughs> so yeah, um, my prediction, I think Endgame's going to win the bracket.